Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drive. I'm your host, Myron. Today, we will be taking a look at Penelope Architect. The company's been around since 2018. Uh, so far, with the exception of one that I've had, they put out nothing but good products. Bottom drop, bottom drop. They've only been around since 2018 sourcing their bourbon from Indiana, but there's a cool story behind the whole company itself. If you want to go on the internet, you can see the whole story on their website, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, there's also a good story behind the Architect brand. Penelope decided to partner with a company that produces oak scans and brings new and innovative ideas to the market. That's right, oak scanning for oak tanning. I'll read to you a little bit of what they say. A blueprint for the future of precision blending, the first build in the series combines our signature four grain mash build with two styles of French oak staves. We selected each stave using their state-of-the-art oak scan process to construct a truly memorable flavor profile. After all, the best architecture leaves no room for error. There aren't a lot of companies out there that put bottles out on the market like this. If you guys know of any, let me know. I mean, Penelope just does classy, classic bottles. From the blue to the white, the offsetting tones, the spiderweb design, the classy, sophisticated neck strap around the cork. I mean, this thing, they, they just do it well. Penelope does it really well. I've got to tip my hat to Penelope. Now let's get into the nose because a lot of the times on Penelope products, they're young. And by them being young, I get a lot of apple. I get a lot of sour green apple notes. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because I don't mind it. It's just sometimes when the whiskey has that licorice flavor that I don't like, it can be kind of off-putting. So I'll get into the nose here in a second. Let me pull myself up a glass. Yeah, yeah. That's all sour green apples, caramel. You do get a punch of alcohol on Penelope products. The toasted stuff seems to be a little more tame. There is some fruit in there. I can't truly pick out what flavor of fruit. It's always, people like to say red fruit, bright red fruits, and I get a lot of that when I do Penelope. I get a lot of that when I sip Penelope. Penelope has a lot of floral notes, and a lot of bright red fruit notes, uh, but mainly the sour green apple and the caramel. When I first had Penelope, I thought it was a one note wonder. Penelope basically, to me, smelled like a caramel coated apple. That's all it was. But then, as I got down in the bottle and I sipped, it seemed like I could pick out different flavors. So, let's get into the palette. Yeah, it's good. It's good. This Penelope is really good. It's really sweet. It's creamy. And that, more than likely, the creaminess comes from the non-chill filtering, but it is creamy. The finish even hangs around a little bit. I mean, most, the, most of the stuff that I've had from Penelope so far has been barrel proof. Get a little honey. Maybe a little bit of orange peel. You get some leather across the back, across the back and the mid, and then it actually, it has this sweet, sweet, almost vanilla cream finish on it. It's a little bit of leather, it starts out, it's sweet, it's honey, it's apple, it's, it's all of that, and then it has a little bit of leather across the mid to back palette, and then it's like this sweet, sweet, creamy vanilla. One more time.
Yeah, see, the more I sip it, I even get vanilla in the glass now. The more I sip it, the more that vanilla caramel just comes out. Penelope, the Penelope Architect is good. It's 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 really good. Now I did do a head to head in one video with the Penelope Architect that I have here and the Penelope Architect store pick that I got from 925. The Penelope Architect store pick that I got from 925. That thing is ridiculous. I mean, it is buttery, savory, sweet on the front. A little pepper and spice on the back, almost a smokiness to it. I mean, it's it's good. It's it's pretty complex. That's spicy, it's honey, it's spicy. And now that it went deeper down in the glass, I don't get as much apple, I get more honey and I get more spice. And a lot of that vanilla shining through. Didn't even need the rocks glass today. This new glass that I got, it does an amazing job, an amazing job. It gets a lot of air in it and it helps get some of those notes out of the glass up and it doesn't turn into alcohol or just sting the nose. It seems to let me really be able to pick out a lot of different notes. Oh, some of that orange peel is coming out of an empty glass. Normally with MGP products I get honey and tea. Honey and tea seems to be the dominant notes out of an empty glass when I do MGP products. If Penelope is this good at four to five and a half years old, I can't wait to see what the future holds. There's only been maybe one or two other companies that I can think of that I've actually sat back and thought, wow, I can't wait to see what they release in the future. Penelope is one of those companies. Penelope does a good job picking barrels. Penelope does a good job finishing their bourbon. They do a good job adding oak staves to their bourbon. Now, the breakdown. But let me pull myself a little bit more. Will I always keep this on the bar? Yes. It is good enough to where I would always like to have a bottle on the bar. I like it that much that I would always like to keep a bottle around. When this bottle gets empty, if I can find it, I'll probably get another one. If I had to make a choice between Penelope and another bottle, and it was a newer bottle, something that I had never had before, at the same price point, I probably would go with the newer bottle just to try it out. But, like I said, I would always like to keep a bottle of Penelope on the shelf. Will I run through this bottle? Probably not. I like it a lot, but it's not something that I'm always going to go back to. There are certain bottles that I have to stash away to keep myself from running out of and going back to the store to get again and again and again. This is good. Don't get me wrong. This is really good. But is it going to be something that I go to every time I want to give myself a pour? No. I do like this. It's very simple and easy to drink. It is not overly complex. It does have a lot of the notes that I like and that I'm looking for. When it comes to bourbon, I am more brown sugar, but keep this in mind. This is a good bottle. Penelope, I tip my hat. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I had fun making it. Till next time.